the Vikings scored a late game touchdown to KJ Osborne to win them the game. Justin Jefferson was once again held in check, going for just 14 yards. DeAndre Swift had some shoulder issues and will miss the next two games and will come back after their bye, according to new head coach Dan Campbell. Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison each scored a touchdown, but Cook got a much heavier workload. Practically the entire Lions offense is questionable to play next week, but pretty much everyone contributed in a hot, hard fought game. Vikings 28 to 24. The Ravens held off the Patriots in a hard fought match with many lead changes, in which Lamar keeps increasing his chance for MVP and a big paycheck this offseason as he added five more touchdowns to his total. Mac Jones got injured in this game after throwing an interception and is set to miss multiple games with a high ankle sprain. Mark Andrews went for 49 yards and two touchdowns as Lamar apparently hates throwing to wide receivers. Ramadre Stevenson and Damian Harris split carries, but Stevenson was way more productive, averaging 2.4 yards per carry more. Devontae Parker had a heavy workload as he went for 156 yards, but did not find the end zone. Ravens 37-26 to Baker Mayfield pulled off the upset, throwing for 170 yards and a touchdown. No Panthers receiver had more than two catches, but Lavishka Chenault Jr. had 90 yards and a touchdown. Jameis Winston threw two more picks, adding to his league-leading five interceptions. Rookie Chris Olave had 147 yards, and Traquan Smith had 105 of them. Christian McCaffrey had 115 yards in this one. Panthers 22-14. Star Chargers tackle Rayshon Slater's out for the season with a bicep injury, and three other high-impact players missed some time during this game. Jags running backs Etienne and Robinson each had 75-plus yards as everyone contributed to a hard-fought win. Both of these teams may have very few fans, but it was still a great game to watch. There was only one sack the entire game as both teams struggled to get pressure. 38-10 to Jaguars. Carson Wentz was unable to live up to the hype that he set himself in the first two weeks, throwing for zero touchdowns. The Eagles are now one of only two undefeated teams left, which is shocking as this is only the only the third week of the season. Terry McLaurin went for 25 more yards than the previous game, as he had 102. The Eagles' rushing attack struggled, but their passing game was electric as they had 340 passing yards and three passing touchdowns. Devontae Smith led their team with 169 yards and a touchdown as he made some pretty insane contested catches. 24-8 Eagles. Zeke and Pollard both got heavy workloads as they led the Cowboys' offense. CeeDee Lamb had an amazing touchdown grab but also dropped a touchdown, which the announcers would not stop talking about. Tank Lawrence had three sacks as he led the Cowboys. Saquon, yet again, was productive, going for 100-plus for yards and a touchdown. Although the Cowboys were mis missing Tyron Smith, they signed veteran Jason Peters, who played well as they did not allow a sack. 23-16 to Cowboys. NFL young boy George Pickens made the catch of the year, which many compared to Odell's famous one-hander. Miles Garrett may miss a couple weeks as he was involved in an accident a few days after the game. Mitch Trubisky still has yet to throw for over 225 yards in a game this season. Najee Harris has not averaged four yards a carry in a game yet as fans called the fire offensive coordinator Matt Canada. Browns 29-17 The Bengals finally got their first win in a blowout versus a heavily injured Jets team. The big three Bengals receivers all had big impacts in this game as the only Jets cornerback to play well was first-round pick Sauce Gardner. Joe Flacco struggled as he was often forced to check down to his running backs and threw two interceptions. Trey Hendrickson was all over Joe Flacco as he had two and a half sacks and forced multiple fumbles. Bengals 27-12. The Raiders are the only winless slash tieless team in the league now. Derrick Henry struggled in his first two games, but put on a show versus the Texans, going for 143 yards and a touchdown. Raiders receiver Matt Collins went for 158 yards and a touchdown 
as it appeared that secondary was all too focused on Devontae Adams, who only had 36 yards this week, but he also had a touchdown. Down 11 late in the fourth quarter, the, Ra- the Raiders came back, mainly carried by receiver Matt Collins, but failed to tie the game on a two-point conversion. All three of the Raiders' opponents so far have gotten their only win versus the Las Vegas. Titans 24-22. to The Rams held off the Cardinals' comeback as Matthew Stafford threw zero interceptions. Cooper Cup lost many receiving streaks, including 100 yards receiving and receiving touchdown, which both were around 10 games, including the playoffs. The Rams did not have a receiver who had 70 yards as the Cardinals' cornerbacks played very well. Rookie receiver Greg Dortch had 80 yards, and Hollywood Brown had 140, but neither of them could find the end zone. 20-12 to 12 Rams. The Buccaneers were about to force the game into overtime after our last second touchdown, but then a delay of game penalty on the two-point conversion led to a broken-up pass. The Packers and Bucks rushing game struggled as two Packers backs and the Bucks back. Had 12 carries in 32-36 yards. The Buccaneers were missing a whopping four receivers in this game, but Russell Gage Jr. stepped up to the task as he had 87 yards and a touchdown. Both defenses shined, but the end, the pack came out on top, 14-12. To 10 different Seahawks caught a pass in a close game where both were electric through the air and struggled on the ground. Cordero Patterson didn't catch a pass, but still went for 141 yards and a touchdown. This game was very close as both teams' offenses shined. 27-23 Falcons. The Bills missed a field goal and dropped an interception that would prove to be crucial as they fell to the undefeated Finns. Miami made a stop on fourth and goal after a long drive by the Bills. Then the Bills got a safety off a blocked punt and drove into field goal range but could not spike the ball in time. Josh Allen ran for 47 yards as he was consistently running over defenders. Waddle once again went for over 100 yards as the Dolphins won 21-19 to in my game of the week. The Colts shocked the world somehow pulling off a win versus the Chiefs. The Chiefs muffed a punt early in the game inside their own 10, which led to a quick Colts touchdown. Then the Chiefs left, led the game until the fourth quarter where... Receiver Jelani Woods got his second touchdown on his second catch. Juju cemented himself as the Chiefs wide receiver one as he had 89 yards in a close loss for Kansas City. 20-17 Colts. This was easily the most boring NFL game I've ever watched as both defenses played amazing and the Broncos ran the ball heavily and the 49ers passed the ball short heavily. Honestly, that's pretty much it. Unlucky that this was the Sunday night primetime game we got. 11 to 10 Broncos. Justin Fields only had eight completions and a low scoring win, where both quarterbacks threw two interceptions. David Montgomery got injured very early in this game, which allowed backup Khalil Herbert to go off for 169 yards and two touchdowns. Five Bears players either had three carries or 20 rushing yards as they pounded the rock the entire game. 23 to 20 bears.